about today? Coins or stamps? Coins or stamps? Let's flip a coin. Ah, uh, whatever. Let's just talk about stamps. Oh, hi friends. Today, let's talk about stamps. Did you know the study of postage stamps and postal history is called philately? A stamp has four distinct parts. Image, perforations, denomination and country name. World's first postal stamp was introduced in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland on 1st May 1840. With this, the postage fee was paid by the sender and not the recipient. Also, postmarks were introduced so that the stamps are not used again. The first stamp was called the Penny Flag, available on 1st May 1840. And two days later, the Two Penny Blue was introduced. Both stamps had an image of young Queen Victoria and it did not have any perforations. It did not show the issuing country information. And the United Kingdom remains as the only country not to print its name on the stamps. Soon other countries followed and there were lots of stamps being made in different colors forms and shape. Now due to the use of emails, the use of stamps has reduced and few countries like Iceland have already stopped printing new stamps. There are two main types of stamps, commemorative stamps and definitive stamps. Commemorative stamps are often issued on a significant date such as an anniversary to honor or commemorate a place, event, person or object. Also, there are stamps to celebrate special events related to space, spot, space, events, art, etc. These are definitive stamps. They are part of regular issue. They are available for use for an extended period of time. They are used for everyday postal needs. It depicts different themes like art, history, vehicles, nature, etc. Let's now talk about some stamps from the definitive series. These stamps that you see are from the Map of India series. They were printed in 1957. Cool, right? Let's now take a closer look at one of these stamps. Okay, let's zoom in. Here, India's territorial boundaries are shown. These come with the same image of the map of India, but in various shades with a specific pattern shown on the side. The map highlights the main river system and mountains, but no internal boundaries. It also doesn't show Andaman, Nicobar and Lakshadweep Islands. Can you spot it? No, I don't think so. It comes in multiple denominations in NP or Naya Paisa. Let's now talk about some of the old stamps that my granny has. Here I have two stamps from 1949. These are from the Definitive One series, showing archaeological and historical objects and places. In this stamp, you can see Dancing Nathraja. This stamp's value is 2 Anna. The next stamp is a 6 pi stamp which is showing the Konak horse. Now we are going to see some commemorative stamps. This one is from 1959 and this one is from 1960. Let's zoom in. This stamp was printed for the first World Agricultural Fair. Its value is 15 Naya Paisa. Let's now look at the other stamp. This was printed for United uh, Nations Students Fund. Its value is also 15 Naya Paisa. Oh wow! All these stamps are so cool! Look at this lady 
here. She is a sculpture. And look at this crane. This deer is actually a reindeer. Or maybe, I don't know. <laughs> These are the great Himalayas. Did you know that they hold one of the biggest mountains in the world? Mount Everest. Oh, I have been here. This is the lake. Look at this elephant. It is dressed. Oh, and look at this lady. She is collecting tea leaves. Oh, wow, such a big dam. I think this is um, this is a sculpture of a man and a woman. These are some mangoes. And rawr, that's a tiger. We are going to talk about more interesting stamps in the next video. Bye-bye. Please like, comment and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell icon. Thank you for watching.